My next guest is a local author and one half of the incredible writing duo known as Ali and Asha. The pair met while working together as a teacher and school administrator here in Seattle. Their new novel is Boss Lady and it's out today. Please welcome back to New Day, Asha Yeomans. Thanks for being here. Happy Publishing Day. Hey, thank you, Boss Lady. Hits the shelves today. That is so exciting, and we're so grateful that you're here on this very busy day. So I want to hear about how this book was Julia Louise Dreyfus inspired. Well, she is a formidable uh, actress, comedian, and uh, artist all around, yeah. and someone I truly admire, and Ali does as well. I've watched every episode of Seinfeld at least five times, loved her as Selena Meyer on Veep, mm -hmm. and she appeared on the podcast Shameless. Oh, okay. And when asked what she would do if she weren't in show business, she said that she would work as an airport transportation specialist, driving the cart around. And, <laughs> and Allie, who is okay. our big idea person mm -hmm. on our team, just it just struck her and she said you know what i would do that too and called me and i said i would be so good at that job uh, yep. let's write about it <laughs> this is okay this is brilliant so tell me about the plot is it really someone who drives an airport cart around it definitely is this uh protagonist is an uh, afro puerto rican woman named tony arroyo and she is a, a talented chemist but wasn't was unable to finish her education. Mm -hmm. Decided to raise a family, got a regular job as an airport transportation specialist, and finds that despite lamenting this ordinary job, she uh, has a supportive group of uh, community members at the airport who it. encourage her to chase her dreams, who push her to go for it, and she realizes that uh, she's been a boss lady all along. Oh, that gives me the chills. <laughs> I feel like um, the airport is a symbol of hope and excitement. Everyone who kind of, when you're in there, it's, there's something new to explore. And I think that's a really great place for basing a, a book. The book is filled with relatable women. How did you, who did you model your characters after? Well, Tony, after ourselves, um, we thought about life as wives, mothers, students, um, entrepreneurs ourselves, mm -hmm. and the path to get there and what success looks like for us and the struggles involved in it. Yeah. Um, and how do we look back on our own lives and say, you know what, I've always been a boss lady too. Um, Tony has a close relationship with Sylvia Eisenberg, an elderly Jewish woman that she drives around on her cart. And uh, she discovers through their relationship that she is a secret boss lady and uh, becomes very instrumental in Tony's success. This is so beautiful. Another thing I appreciate is how the story calls out society's obsession with youth. This is something as women, we start to feel more and more um, how older women are overlooked and dismissed is kind of an issue, and it's a topic that even Julia Louise Dreyfus is addressing in her own podcast. Why was it important that you include this? Uh, well, what a nod to get on uh, Wiser Than Me. Mm -hmm. Julia Louise Dreyfus talks about the wealth of knowledge that older women have, and that they aren't often uh, as revered as older men mm -hmm. for being wise, but instead considered put out to pasture. And we wanted to challenge that idea. Uh, Sylvia Eisenberg is based on my grandmother, who was Ooh. a Rosie the Riveter here in it. Washington State at um, Naval Station Bremerton during World War II, and then a Riveter at Boeing for 30 plus years. And Allie's grandmother was very, uh, was her North Star yeah. in guiding her life, um, setting goals, and believing in herself. So that's also how we modeled uh, that character and how we see the value of our elders. Yeah. You can learn a lot being a youthful person online, mm -hmm. but sage advice mm. from someone who has lived life is um, invaluable. It is invaluable, and it's so important, and it's so beautiful. Um, let's talk about the research that you had to do. I don't want to give away too much of the plot, but what kind of research did you do to recreate what goes on on the behind the scenes reality show that's kind of like Shark Tank. Yes, so Innovation Nation is the fictitious show that we've come up with that Tony ultimately tries to pitch her product on. Um, and we watch a lot of TV. <laughs> we watched a lot of Shark Tank, but we did take some um, artistic license with it. My son wrote a spoof 
show called Mark Tank. So when he was doing his research on his short film, I sat next to him too and was like, hey, let me learn a little bit of something about this. That's great. And it seemed a great way to uh, drum up some drama mm -hmm. for our characters and create a, a, a combustible end, end of the book scene. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. You know, you've mentioned a lot of, of wonderful women. You've mentioned women that are our North Stars, but you, you are a boss lady. What does your family think of your life as a novelist? Well, I can just imagine my mother watching the television right now <laughs> um, and uh, cheering me on. Yeah. She is our beta reader. All of our books go through her, her eyes first. Really? Um, we value all of the women in our lives, and we're so happy for the support of our families. Um, they're big cheerleaders. Uh, well, I am so delighted. I, am, I, I love when there's a novel that just kind of props me up and reinforces what I'm doing and if it's right. And it sounds like that is Boss Lady, and I hope that everyone enjoys it. So thank you for being here. It's thanks so good to see you again. All right. Thanks, Amity. All right.